The referee then, Charlie Roth, age 50. Refereed around the Cincinnati and Pittsburgh area for a long number of years. Just look at this. He's seven and a half years in Colorado State Prison. A good right by Lyle. A good right by Lyle, and he's got Foreman in trouble. He's got him in trouble. George staggering off the ropes, and Lyle all over him. Over here to Gil Clancy, sitting right next to me for instruction. You see George in trouble. Lyle has no fear of Foreman, none at all. And he's pressing the action now. That could be a mistake, Kenny. See that right come around and land on Foreman. Foreman in the red trunks. Lyle yelling to Foreman, keep those hands up. Now Lyle is hurt. Now Lyle is hurt. Quickly, Foreman landed a left and a right and another left, and Lyle's in trouble. He's against the ropes. Certain it is he didn't know what to do in Zaire. Look at that left to Foreman's get in there. And it's a different Lyle now. He's a little shaky. The leg's just a little rubbery. Foreman is a tremendous puncher. No question about that. Ken Norton can attest to that. I told best, and that's what we've got. Very good counter right hand by uh, Lyle there. For Lyle, the second round for George Foreman. <laughs> be careful. You're right about the use of the right. There it was again. To really get off, he's got to be more aggressive and kind of force the action. Possibly he's trying to wait for Foreman through a right hand. <laughs> round. Foreman the Red Trunk creation. He's been teaching all his life. Whether boxers, kids playing in the playground, or they have producer retime the second round in our truck. Lyle all over. Lyle has Foreman in trouble. Foreman is down. It started with a right, then a left. The 15 months since Zaire, he's been relatively inactive, except for that charade in Toronto against the frightful Bod. Now Foreman fighting back. Oh, right. Foreman is in trouble. Lyle caught him with a good left. Now George, now, now George struck back. Now, now George fought back. Punches. A minute to go in a wild fight, just as Lyle apparently had George in trouble. George with that punching power that we talked about in prior fights. Lyle is now, Lyle is now ready to go. Against. Lyle covering up against the rope. His handler screaming to Foreman, hit him in the body. George at the head. Lyle is now wide open. He is right. Lyle trying to swing back. This isn't artistic, but it is slugging. Only 10 seconds left in the round. Now Foreman was staggered. Foreman was staggered by a Lyle left. The Foreman goes down. Foreman goes down. Lyle fights back. Both of the line totally on power here. George is using his strength. He was hurt. He comes back and he staggers Lyle. I think it's going to be a match of power and a match of stamina. I think Lyle has the middle edge right here. A good left by Lyle. Foreman holding on. We're going here. Foreman we go, Howard. Staggering Foreman. all over the ring. Lyle again. Can he make the point that George's hands are down and so they are. George is falling forward over Lyle. And power. George got... Good right uppercut by Lyle. Foreman again in trouble. You see him falling forward onto Lyle. Incredible fight, utterly without boxing skill, just punching away. Each fighter, in turn, leaving himself open. Both men are really working here. Foreman's using power in Lyle's waiting just a little too long. They're both fighting. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Lyle's got to come back with now down. Now Lyle, down to the canvas. Foreman, punching him again and again and again when it looked like George was done. This time it may be over. This time it may be over. Lyle's not going to make it. Lyle, he's not going to make it. A knockout in the fifth round by George Foreman when it seemed Lyle had command of this ever-changing bout. The ebb and flow of the action almost unbelievable.